In order to configure and install the Info Factory Track Attendance app onto a device, I first need to go into Factory Track for the correct configuration and generate myself a QR code, which I'm going to use to configure the device. So I'm going, first of all, I need to select it's an attendance registration and then need to assign the unique factory track user that I'm going to assign to this particular device, put in its password and define what type it is going to be. It doesn't really matter at this point. If I'm in the cloud, I shouldn't need to do anything else. The rest of this information should have been set automatically. If I'm on premise, then I will need to specify the actual IP address. Then I'll hit the generate QR code. So now I'm ready to configure the device. So the next thing I need to do is to actually go to the device and install the application. Normally this will be done from the Google Play Store, but for now I have already downloaded it to my device and I'm going to just install it from here, from the Google Drive. When downloading from Google Play Store, the Info Factory Track Attendance is the app we need to be looking for. I'm going to install the app and when it's installed it, it will open it up and said okay now you need to register the device so when I open it it comes up and says okay how do you wish to do it do you want to do it manually or a much preferred option is to scan the QR code so in this case I'm going to say I'm going to scan it with the camera I'm going to go back to the QR code, scan it in. Using the device's camera, and if I go back to the, I can see that it is scanning the information and it's currently processing it. And then I click on the register button to register the device. And this will result in this particular de device being connected to the appropriate factory track installation. As you can see, it is now ready to go. If I close this device, so if I shut down the app and restart it, then when it restarts, it will automatically log in using the correct name and password and connection. So there's no need for any further adjustments after that time. Simply opening the app will automatically bring this screen up for the first operator to come in and scan their badge.